The Word of Light the Reflections, 2023, 4th July, Year 1. Tuesday of week 13, Genesis 19, verse 15 to 29, Matthew 8, verse 23 to 27, by the Lord's mercy. If you wake up today healthy and strong to continue your life, know that it is by the Lord's mercy that you are alive. Nothing good comes to you because you are so good and have no mistakes or because you are very intelligent. That is why things are going well for you. We were created ex nihilo in the same way God does his goodness to us out of nothing. The story of the terrible escape of Lot and his family is not so far-fetched from our own experiences of the deliverance of God. A friend shared how a small delay with someone saved him from a robbery attack. While he was still trying to get to the bus stop where the incident happened, he stopped to greet someone. Upon his arrival, he was told that just a few minutes before he came to the station, there was a serious robbery attack with some people losing their lives, others sent to the hospital for the medical attention. In another experience, someone who wanted to park his car in a certain place and someone resisted him from doing so, decided to move and park in a different location. Then a different person came and went straight to, the, to park the same place. This person wanted to park before entering the market to buy goods. On his return, there was an accident near where he wanted to park earlier on, and the car that was parked there smashed. God saved him and his car from the gory accident. Probably, this person who stopped him from parking might have been sent by God. That is a similar experience with Lot and his family. Before God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, he sent his angel to deliver them. However, we experience a lot of sluggishness from Lot and the family. And finally, his wife even looked back against the angel's instruction not to look back and turn into a pillar of salt. When we look at them, we are quick to judge or even insult them as fools or wicked for not just falling in for the plans of God. But this is exactly the situation of many of us. Sometimes God wants us not to stop certain friends or work or drop a plan to travel, but out of fear or security, we don't just want to listen. May we learn from this experience and be attentive to God's voice and be ready to surrender. Otherwise, we also risk perishing. Prayer Dear Lord, never permit me to fall into self-destruction because of my stubbornness of heart, but help me with your grace to always respond to your call to repentance and good work so that one day I may reap what I sow. Reverend Father Vincent Ducolo, Priest of Catholic 